found the town square, it looks like. Nice. Men it's a minstrel. Can't tell if man or woman. I'm gonna go with man. His magical voice sings. Mavolia, open your doors to friendship with this world. His magical voice sings. Oh, yes, definitely a him. People, open your hearts to the love of this world. Grants himself the man with the magical voice, the peacemaker, the German knight without a sword. He just played his harp and all listened. Great song. And three people wander off. Sing some more later. I'm tired of you right now. Shut up. I'll be back, though. I'll be back. Lord Granz's song. A wonderful voice. I must know your name. Thank you very much. My name is Lester. I'm on my way to Granz Castle. Granz Castle, eh? In some cases, that could cost you your life. Still want to go? Cost you your life? Menstruals are special. Those with talent are invited to the castle. That doesn't sit well with a lot of folks. Special, huh? This guy reminds me of someone. Invited to the castle. I haven't been, but I thought if I could go sing a few songs. Yes, your song has heart, but Dark Lord is critical of Grons. He won't be terribly fond of songs praising him. And he wanders off too. And the screen has to reset so we can reload all the sprites. Hooray! What's up, Lester? The song you just did was really great. Thanks. You're off to the castle? Please be careful. I will. I will. Is it a leaflet? I will gladly take one from you. Alright, three down, I think. The blonde man staying at the end. I think I've seen him somewhere before. What's up, little kid? I grow up, I'll be Sibba's apprentice and become a big sage. Sure, kid, whatever you say. You want a leaflet? Why are you doing this for cash? What kind of lame adventurer are you? Shut up, it's a side quest. All right, so four down, I think. Whoa, look at him. Yeah, what's with the glitching sometimes with the sprites over lane? They call Sibba the great sage, and he really is the man with the answers. Good to know. All right, five down. Why? It's a secret I need paper! This is a cave to topple really sealed up. I won't be able to visit my mother there. I unsealed it. it. I wouldn't be here if it was sealed up. It came from topple. Oh, pardon me. Let me lean on your shoulder. I went outside town and was attacked by monsters. Those monsters weren't that tough. Don't you find the outside monsters to be particularly strong? If by strong you mean level grinded off of them? No! That's not true. They're stronger than before. Here's the thing. All you can do is temper your weapons. Apparently your best bet is to take them to the blacksmiths. If they've got a tool shop, you can even do it yourself. And he wanders off. Looks like he went into a building. I can draw on the back. So six down. Wow, this is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It was long ago, but I once went to Gaia Cave with my daddy. A big boulder sneezed. No, really, it did. Sneezed, a boulder sneezed. Young people seem to fancy Dark Lord, but I don't care for him. Oops, I better be careful what I say. Alright, so we could head up here, but once again, that's to the cathedral, so I'm going to avoid that, and I'm going to try to do everything I can down here, starting with... It looks like there's a path down there. There's not! We need to head into the inn! Nobody over there, but I need to talk to the innkeeper. I am traveling. It's Gaia Cave, but I've never been there, Gaia Cave. It's been a bit much, it's a bit much for me. Okay, sure, it's too powerful. Oh no, what will I do, what will I do, what will I do, what will I do? Fine, what's going on? Here's what happened. Yesterday morning, I foolishly lent out my best kitchen knife. How am I supposed to make dinner? The thing is, I don't remember who I lent it to, and I can't very well just go around asking everyone I bump into. Ah, that's it. Bingo, I've got a fantabulous idea. I'll ask you to do it. Where'd you find my knife? I'm pretty sure it was somebody in this town. Fine, I'll help you find your stupid knife. I'm so glad. Good for you. Wandering Swordsman. Nice to meet you, Vega. I was thinking of getting a job at the castle as a knight. No. Don't do it. 
fish show up there looking like this, they'll throw me out. Could you do me a huge favor? Will you bring me the glittering sword? What a coinky dink. I've already got one. I'll give you a hundred Luca for your time and trouble. Yes, I will do it. Got it? It's called the glittering sword. It's not like that crummy weapon you're ca Oh, you dick. Just take it. No doubt about it. The glittering sword. I'll buy it off of you for a hundred Luca. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. A hundred Luca as promised. Yes. Think I'll rest a bit, then head to Granz's. If you think you can hack it, why don't you apply too? Because I hate. No. Hate it. Hate it. I guess that's all he's got to say now. But we have completed the quest <laughs> as quick as that was, surprisingly. Leaflet, don't you have any better ones? I think that's still seven uh, that we've handed off to. What's up, Umberto? <laughs> You're an adventurer? I am. I've got some work for you if you want it. Yes, I want work. See, I heard Mad Believers has slipped in among the townsfolk here. Everyone's out in full force looking for them, but they need help. So they hire an adventurers like you. Rival sources say they pay a thousand lucre. How about I want the job? Yes, I want the freaking job, even though it goes against everything. Okay, adventurer for the realm. He stands against everything I stand for, but I'll do it. Hop to it. God, we have a lot of quests. A lot of quests here. Is this any kind of special pot? Nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh, there is a little dwarf here. It's a warped dwarf. I'm quitting dwarfing. I refuse to be a dwarf any longer. Okay. How do you quit being a dwarf? You're a particularly small one at that, it looks like. Oh no, you're kind of the first dwarf I've seen. What a nice voice. Don't speak so loudly to such a little thing. What sounds beautiful to people is like a blood-curdling scream to him. How <laughs> nice of you to say! Devious! <laughs> Don't startle them, they're quite sensitive. Sorry about that. What do you want? I told that minstrel he'd be risking his life if he went to Gron's castle, right? That's right, I did. What of it? Can you explain to us exactly why? Just as Gron's used his voice to repel Vandal, if the minstrels rise up, they can stir the hearts of the people. Dark Lord won't think much of that, will he? Are you saying Lester would do such a thing? I can't say for sure, but poetry is art. I wouldn't want doubts about him to cause his death. Doesn't sound good at all. I'm gonna talk to your birds again! I want poet to see odes of love, not songs of revolt. Talking to all your little birdies. Is this pissing you off? Because you're kind of a dick. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything we can really do in here outside of that. Is there another one? There is not. All right, so we're pretty much done in the end for now. Um, let's head over. Actually, this guy's back. Let's say that the uh, the monsters are tough this time, uh, because he says that the monsters are really strong. Sure, they are. You think so too, don't you? Here's the thing. Okay, he doesn't say anything different. All right, we have to take him to the blacksmith. You don't have a tool shop or anything, so you're better off asking a blacksmith. I highly recommend that you get your weapons tempered. That is a good idea. And he walks right up here. I wonder what this could be. It's the blacksmith. What do you know? Oh, look. The dwarfs are all this size, apparently. Barbecued Newt bring back some memories. A man who used to work here love it. Mumbled something about hating soldiers and quietly left town. After that, he sent, he sent us a letter saying he found a job in Menos. So that looks like it's our next destination for Luke's father, Menos. Oh man, why don't we think of Leaflet? It looks like eight down for me, so I'm over halfway there now. The men who love Newt isn't in town anymore. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere in near Menos. Okay, so we've got more dwarves. Apparently dwarves in every game are blacksmiths. Freaking racist game. That reminds me, I haven't seen that peon Dofar all day. What's going on? Ah, oh, that guy. One day he said that he wasn't going to be a dwarf, then he split. I already talked to that guy. I'm not going to be a dwarf. Don't give me that. Quit the yapping and get to work. Forget yourself and just work, work, work. Then it won't matter if you're a dwarf or not. What are you fussing at me for? Whatever, we're all on the same boat. Forget yourself and just work, work, work. That doesn't sound like a good plan at all. Ah, oh, I started this whole conversation chain again by trying to talk to the other guy. Jeez. Oh, I did freaking... Okay, yes, we're done here. 
Welcome! And now I can temper my weapon should I require it. Now, don't, please, 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 do not temper anything that Misa is wearing or using. No, just, just please don't. Uh, it also gives us the attack, attack trait of it. So uh, we have a jab with the flail, we have a bash with the staff, a slash with the sword, and another jab with the bow, even though I would, I don't know, technically it is a jab, but that sounds weird for a bow. Uh, there are, I believe, five types. We will go over those as we get more, uh, but for right now, I am going to stick with the flail. So basically, uh, since these are the same type, the flail and the bow, anything that is strong against a, a flail is likely going to be strong against a bow as well. I want to temper the flail. And I don't have any veggies, unfortunately, so I can't. Uh, we need veggies in order to temper. I don't know how that makes sense, but they say it does. Uh, we can also temper all this stuff. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Sandals, gloves, helm, hat, armor, robe, and that's it, apparently. I want to go for armor if I can, but I don't have fruit because I need fruits in order to do it with the, uh, with the armor and veggies to do it with a weapon. Uh, don't ask. I don't really know, but that's how the game works. So, uh, now that we have technically another side quest to do, let us head back to the inn and talk to the dwarf that doesn't want to be a dwarf anymore. Why he doesn't want to be a dwarf, I'm not exactly sure, but he doesn't. So let's talk to him. He refuse to be a dwarf any longer. And the other dwarf show up. I swear we weren't doing anything. Have you lost your mind? You are a dwarf. Brother Dohel, are you looking for me? Look for you? Why would I? You just show up sometimes, that's all. Go back home. I'm not going home. I'm shaving my beard and quitting dwarfing. Do what you want. Go ahead, shave and quit being a dwarf. And give that knife back to whoever it belongs. I will quit. I'll show you what a big man I am. You're still short. <sighs> what? Are you crying? Brother Doha? Did that make you cry? Yeah, right. Who'd cry over you? That knife you used to cut your filthy beard. You peel apples and fillet fish with it. When I think of poor Emma really. I can't stop crying. <laughs> You're a disgrace. Do us all a favor and quit being a dwarf. And then he walks off. But, brother. Can I have the knife? This knife. Give it back to Emma Rilly. I'm going back to work. And we've received this silver knife. It's the beard my dear parents gave me. Like it's an attached beard. I decided not to shave it off after all. Okay. But we did get the knife. So let's go ahead and turn that in. I told you we're going to be doing a lot of stuff here in town. Emma Rilly, I found your knife. Yay, my knife. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I'd like you to have this. And we received a kitty pie. What is a kitty pie, you might ask? Let's take a look. I believe it is listed under other items. Um, oh, there we go. It's a fruit. And that's pretty much all it says. It's a fruit. Hooray. Now, uh, I don't really want to go uh, tempered just yet, but... When we do, we'll go over all the different aspects of all the different fruits that we get. I don't know why a kitty pie is technically a fruit, but there you go. Uh, is there any other place that we can go in town? I think we have been everywhere. Can I go? I can't go any further left. Uh, so, I do believe that I will... Um, well, I'm going to save right now, and because I have done a lot in town, and then I'm going to make sure that I have already talked to everybody during the day that wants a flyer, because as we did in Topple, we're going to have to leave and then come back at different times. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 